Good morning, class. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. I am here for our morning meeting. My question of the day is, how do you know if you can recycle something? We talked about this a little last week. We're going to look a little more closely at it today. And um, hopefully it will help you guys recycle at home. The first thing you can always do is whatever town you live in, if you go on the town page or the city page, I've sent this out to mom and dad. You can look at the recycling guide. And if you flip through, um, it'll tell you things that you can and cannot recycle and how to sort your garbage. So this is really important. It tells you what they'll pick up, how to sort it, and a lot of great info in here about recycling. But if we want to look a little closer at our symbols and if, if we can recycle something or not, this would be the page to use. Some towns have this too. And the recycling symbol, we know it looks like a triangle with arrows, right? You see those on the side and they each have a number in them. Some of them do not have a number in them. You guys, when you want to figure out if something can be recycled, you have to look closely at the item. Sometimes these symbols are really hard to find. If I take this container and I look at it, I don't see any recycling symbol on it, right? There's none on the wrapper. So then I think to myself, let me turn it over and look underneath. And then I can see that it is printed in the plastic. See that triangle symbol right there? A little hard to see. You have to look super close, but you can see it's printed in the plastic and it has the number one. So I would go to my chart here. It has the number one, which means it's a jar or a soft drink bottle and it'll tell me yes or no. So yes, this can be recycled. Um, I have a jar here, my son's snacks. This was a lot easier for me to find. I found the recycling symbols very quickly. There is two here. So this gets tricky. You'll have to read them. It says you may not recycle the bottle unless the label is removed. So this label, the wrapping that's on this bottle, has to be torn off to look like this. It also says discard the seal, empty it, and replace the cap. So that means I would take this bottle container, I would rip this wrapping off, it would look like this. I would put the cap on, the cap is recyclable, and then I can recycle this. But if I were to put it in the recycling like this, they wouldn't want it because it is not, this wrapper is not recyclable. And all those details are on that label right there. So sometimes you have to read closely. Another tricky one I saw was another food container for my son. And this one also has two symbols. So I said, hmm, I'm gonna have to read this closely. It says that this is a multi-layer canister. It is not recyclable, but the lid is recyclable. So I can recycle the lid and not the container. Something like this, our plastic water jugs. Look closely, I see that symbol, it's nice and big right on the front. I didn't have to look too hard for it. And it says plastic jug, empty and replace the cap. So all I have to do when I'm finished with this, put the cap on and now I can put it in my recycling to be made into something new. Also, Let's see, we already know our aluminum cans can be recycled, right? You can take these back to the store. Look on the top, it says New York, five cents. 
and you can get money back for these. So these are really helpful. I also have a uh, milk carton here. Let's see, I'm gonna try and find the recycling label. Oh, I found it. It says it is a coated paper carton and it says empty and replace the cap and it shows our recycling symbol. So we are able to recycle this. It tells me the instructions and what to do with it. Now, this one took me a little bit. I had to look, sometimes you have to search for these things. My daughter finished a box of cereal. So I said, hmm, can this be recycled? And I had to look. I looked all around the box. Finally, on the bottom, I found a recycling symbol. Do you see that? It says, this paperboard carton is 100% recyclable. Please follow your city's instructions for recycling. So this is telling me it's recyclable. So now I know that I can recycle this. So those are some things you can, some tips for you to use at home. And um, I hope you enjoy that. Maybe you guys will use a magnifying glass and try and find all those hidden recycling symbols. Okay, we're gonna move on to our morning center activity. Today, you've seen these before. We've done the numbers one through six. They are the 10 frames. I'm gonna see how good you guys do on your own. I didn't do any today. So if you remember what goes on the top first, always your first name, last name, hopefully two. And you're going to do the numbers. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11 and 12. Remember, you're going to say the number out loud and then you're going to color in that amount of boxes down here. So if there's a seven up here, I wanna see seven boxes colored down here. Don't forget to say these numbers out loud, count when you're coloring, and then when you're done coloring, check your work and count the boxes again to make sure you have the right number colored. So have fun with this. I can't wait to see them. And I will see you this afternoon for religion. Bye guys.